Well, making progress. It's slow, but it is progress. At least it seems slow. And then all of a sudden, stuff is done. I got the rudder mounted, the elevator mounted, the stabilizers mounted, the tail strakes mounted. I hooked up the nav light and beacon. I've got the rudder cables hooked up. I made the accessory covers for the cutouts for the stabilizer and the elevators. Got the baggage door mounted up. Working on the engine, I got it cleaned up and I've got some hose to make for that oil cooler. Of course, I haven't done anything with the prop. The engine cowl, I got the brackets for the engine cowl for the firewall uh, made and installed. I installed the seats, installed the seat belts and shoulder harnesses. Uh, the fuel tank covers and wing root covers, I've got those out and I've got them cleaned up. The fuel tank covers are ready to go on, but I'm not going to put those on until I get the ailerons rigged to make sure that those uh, that carry through cable for the aileron is free through there because sometimes those get loose if the cable gets loose it might get uh, bound up in the hold down hardware for the fuel tank so I want to make sure that that doesn't happen before I put the fuel tank covers on and the wing root covers I've worked on those I've got those cleaned up I haven't decided uh, they've got some corrosion on them and I haven't decided yet whether I want to strip those down and clean them up and repaint them or whether I'm just going to put them on like they are and work on the floats. Well, we've been working a lot on the floats. Well, the thing I'm going to start working on now is installing the wing struts. We've come to that point. I've kind of held off on that for quite a while because it's so much easier getting around in here without those wing struts in the way. But I've come to the point where that needs to be done so we can make further progress on other things. I want to get the wing struts on and the wings rigged so that I can put the wing root covers on because I have to do that before I have to tighten up those bolts on the hinges on the wing where the wing attaches to the fuselage before I can put the wing root covers on and finish that much of it up. I'm holding off on putting the main door, cabin door on until we get closer to being done so it doesn't get damaged and I've taken the windows out of the left side and I haven't put the window in the right door panel yet so that still needs to be done but let's get started on doing the wing struts There's two wing struts on each wing the forward one attaches there on the forward rib a little more than halfway out and then the second wing strut a smaller one attaches to the rear rib out there just parallel with the front one then that wing strut uh, both of them come back forward and go down and they attach on a tab together in the same place right there on the fuselage. That also happens to be the rear attach point for the landing gear and they attach there with a large terminal end fork that fits over that with a bolt down through it through the holes. Well trying that out the other night that fork of course doesn't fit on there and I knew it wouldn't. We got four layers of paint on there, well two layers of powder coat on there and then I tried to keep all of the polyfiber coatings off of that and cleaned up but it does have a layer or two of the finish color paint on it. So anyway that thing is too thick for those forks to fit on there so that's the first thing I've got to do is start cleaning that paint up off of that so that I can get the forks to mount on there and then of course I'll have to ream the holes out there to get the paint out of the holes so that the bolts will fit down through there. I got those forks mounted up on both sides. It took me about four hours, four and a half hours, I guess. I had to sand those down a whole bunch to get it right almost down to the bare metal in places. Anyway, we got them all fit up and I got those forks mounted on there in the correct bolts even. I bought those bolts and they say those are the ones I looked for for four or five days. I put them away where they wouldn't get lost. They didn't get lost. I finally found them. I applied a liberal amount of peralcatone there that's a kind of a sore spot that mount the way it's made it kind of gets water collects in there and stuff and of course those are well the forks are stainless steel but the bolts are cad plated well anyway that's a place that gets a lot of corrosion a lot of rust or a lot of potential for rust and there's no there's no play in those holes at all those are tight on there I saw a video that a guy was doing of several airframes that he had where he got the airframes from where he was putting them together and those things had some slop in those holes and you can move, can move these forks and those bolts around in the holes but those are good and tight I just leave those on instead of trying to thread those in the forks I'll just leave those mounted up like they are 
and then thread the forks right onto those, or thread the uh, struts right onto those forks. Excitement abounds. Got the wing struts on. I threaded them onto those forks and put up onto the attach points on the wings. I just have those attached with those bullets that I made, those little lineup pins. So there's still quite a bit of work to do on those things, but they're here and they're on. Well, that's a good thing. Now I'll have to get the fuselage leveled up so that I can get those wings rigged. Once they're rigged, they can attach those struts permanently. They're kind of a pain in the tail to work on, unlike a turnbuckle where you can just turn them and crank them out and it threads equally either in or out on both ends. The struts are attached permanently up there on the wing roots on the spars and they thread in and out of the forks down here at the bottom. So to adjust them, you have to take them off and either thread them in or out, put them back on and then try it again. So, getting set up to rig the wings here now, the first step in doing that is to level the fuselage. You have to level it both laterally or along the axis of the wings and you have to level it longitudinally or the, along the axis of the airframe. But first you need to lat uh, level it laterally along the axis of the wings and that's to set the dihedral and then you level it longitudinally along the axis of the airplane and that's to set the washout. I've got it set on my little work gear that I made up with that real long support underneath it. There's four floors in here and they're just floating on the ground and none of them are intertied or anywhere close to being level. Most of that is on one floor and the end of it is on another floor. So I took some a couple of pieces of plywood and stuck underneath uh, this end of it here on the left side to bring it up. And then to bring it up level, I just used some falling wedges, some timber falling wedges, and drove underneath it, one on each side, until I got it level. And then on the back, back there, I've got my stand that I made for that. And I had my son come out yesterday, last night, when he uh, came out and helped me lift that up, lift uh, lifted the fuselage up, and... Uh, pulled a pin out on that stand and set set it so that it was close to being level and then I just came out with a wrench and put on that nut on the screw and screwed it down, screwed the nut down or screwed the screw up until I got the plane to level longitudinally. I copied out instructions from three different sources on rigging the wings on the airplane and basically all three of them pretty much say the same thing when you get down to the nuts and bolts. The first step in it is to level the airplane and in all of the instructions the first step for leveling the airplane is to stick a plumb bob on a PK screw in the top of the door and run it down and then level the airplane until the, the plumb bob intersects a punched mark in the lower door sill. Well this airframe, I don't know where the PK screw is supposed to be on that. It didn't have a PK screw in it. I'm not sure exactly what they mean by the, by the PK screw in the upper door. Uh, it may be those attach points for the upper door half, but I don't have a punched mark in the lower door sill, at least not one that I can see. After covering the airplane, if the airplane covering the fabric went over that door sill and was glued down on the inside of it and it's been painted and everything else, so there's no indication readily apparent there where any punched mark would be if there was one. So the alternative method of leveling the airplane is to use the cross member that goes across on that rear seat. You can level it uh, laterally using that rear cross member on the rear seat and then longitudinally you can use the frame around the door, uh, around the door, either the bottom door or the top door, I guess those are uh, parallel, or the window frame, the tube that goes across the, the lower portion of the left window. So that's what I did. I, I leveled off of those points. And the first thing I did is I leveled it up laterally using the wedges and stuff there on underneath my landing gear. And then I leveled it up longitudinally. And I may have uh, done a little bit of overkill on that. Uh, they show using a carpenter's level, bubble level for everything. Well I've got a bubble level here but this is a Sterrett machinist level so like I say it may have been a little bit overkill but I got it so that it registers perfectly level with that. So anyway that's the start. The airplane, the fuselage is uh, level both laterally and longitudinally so that's where we start on this.